Hello. Um, so this is a uh, from a response from what is it like? Um, Will Hunter, who wanted to know how to um, have two text files that have you know different data in them, um, such as these things. Uh, take the uh, fourth value. So this is a. By the way, this is a response video. Just in case you didn't know, this is the fourth value. Take the fourth value, um, and um, average the two together and print it out in a new file um, that has the average in it. And I just called it average.txt. Uh, this is the code that does it. So I'm gonna go through and explain how I did this. Um, so it's not, not too difficult. So since there is <coughs> two files, I created two. I uh, created two doubles here. Um, just in case you didn't know, doubles allow you to have decimals and all that good stuff, um, and a counter up here. So, I did what I, um, the directory thing I did before, which uh, finds all the files in a um, directory and prints them out. So, th I'm using that code, uh, some, of that, some of that code, not all of it, um, where, uh, if you want to see how that works and you go in a previous video, it's like directory searching or something like that. So basically, that's what this kind of thing is, this for file thing. <clears throat> so what this does is it finds uh, the all the files. And so I found the file here, and it's uh, and it reads it in. And so in other words, it's it's going to first read file one dot txt. I'm going to delete that file one dot um, txt, and it's going to add this so basically I create a spling split here so since he wants to separate the uh, via pipes here um, that's how he separates everything so that's what you do here so I specified that um, each value will be separated with that uh, with the pipe and now uh, create a string array I call it to tokens because that's the generic parsing name. Um, and so I took readf, which is uh, basically what it reads in, the whole file content. So readf is um, everything in here. It will take that and split, use split. And so um, uh, split using this. So that means it will uh, split all the contents. Um, so other words, in other words, this is zero, this is one, two, three, and this is what I want, the fourth value, three. And so basically, if I were to print out, um, so if I were to print out, uh, like, um, tokens three, this will print out the, well, I mean, that's not how you do it, but, um, <clears throat> that will print out the fourth value in the, um, in the uh, text file. So basically, it, I just checked it out by actually just printing that out. And so as you can see, as it went for the first file, the fourth value is uh, 645.90, and it is, in fact, 645.90. That is good. That's what we want. Now, and then this is my counter. So after it goes through it, it adds uh, one value to C. Um, and so if C equals one, then it um, since it's a string, tokens is actually a string, it will actually uh, convert double dot parse double. It actually uh, turns that string into a double. And I put the value of A, uh, assign the value of A to um, the uh, fourth value of tokens. Now, <clears throat> it will do it again for the other file. So basically, now... Uh, tokens will equal six uh, um, six hundred thirty nine point seventy, and I assign that to uh, double B. Now, since there's no more files left, it will um, exit the for loop that I've set up here. So now it will go down to here. So I create another double called A N, which um, adds A and B together, and I mean just finds the average between A and B. And now I um, converted that double to a string using string value of um, an. So basically now answer equals an 
but it's a string because you cannot write out doubles in this buffered writer thing, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So I create another one called string output file, and so I did user i user i equals where the where I lo where I put the files, which is in uh, on my desktop in a file called test, and so it says <clears throat> test plus um, so it's test slash average dot txt. Um, it will generate that when I run the program. Um, I created a basic uh, file writer, you know, that um, writes out a file called average dot txt and test, which is on my desktop, and um, create a buffered writer. And so it's going to be writing to that file. Because now it created, now it's created because of the file writer, and it's going to print out the um, answer, which is the average between A and B, and then close the stream. And so if I run it, um, which for some reason takes a while, created file average.txt. When I open it, I check that, and that is in fact the average of both of those uh, values. Perfect. That is exactly what we want here. Um, I will put this whole code actually in the comments. Surprisingly enough, um, it will be all it'll all be there so that you all can see it. So this is kind of cool. It's like um, <clears throat> I mean I've done some extreme parsing before and it's not fun, uh, but it's extremely useful. This is like a this is like a simple like really 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 basic way of parsing. Um, just splitting stuff up. So you're parsing a string as it... Uh, that's the split thing. Super cool, super useful. So, <clears throat> that is it. That is that is the answer. That is, that is all you need to know. Um, hopefully I uh, interpreted what you said right. Um, I hope so. So anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and... Uh, if you have any questions about how to do something, or, you know, I'm really good at GUI things, swing specifically, um, if you have any questions about that, then uh, I would you know, gladly answer and, and do another uh, response video like this one. Um, so, you know, put those in the comments if you want me to uh, do more videos like this. So, I, uh, Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. That would really help. Like it. Share it. Do whatever you want with it. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching.